This is a demonstration of the new capabilities for component mass properties management in Annex 1926. Uh, this is a companion uh, piece of functionality that goes along with our assembly mass properties management and uh, in particular lets us dive one level deeper, lets us dive into not just the, uh, the properties or, or mass properties of components within assemblies but also potentially uh, for instance components that contain multiple bodies with unique materials, right? multi-body parts or uh, over molded parts for instance or things like that where there are multiple uh, regions within a part that have unique materials. Uh, this may also be uh, properties where you may be asserting properties individually per body within a, within a single part or fine-tuning which bodies are going to be part of the final product potentially and which bodies within a part file might be construction bodies that should not be included in a mass rollup. So in that context, let's look at this part right here. Uh, this is a single part here, as you can see. Uh, we don't know its mass status just yet, uh, but we want to look at it. Okay. Uh, so in this context here in the assembly navigator, if we want to, we can come in to our analysis menu, we can show our mass properties panels, and we'll kind of go into mass properties mode here for this part and take a look at it. You'll notice here that we've got the, the mass properties panel in the assembly navigator. We've had this since NX 1899, uh, but also in the part navigator. This is the same toggle here is also toggling on and off a new properties panel, mass properties panel in the part navigator as well. So uh, what we can do here is e either from the part navigator or from the assembly navigator here, we can update the mass properties of this part right here. And this will go out and, uh, and do that, of course, update the, all the properties for, for all of the bodies in the part. And it's at 2986 right now, which I think is a little heavy for, for what this part is supposed to be here uh, from what they told us. So let's take a look at what's actually in the part, right? Um, if we're looking at it in this history context, we can see uh, quite a few bodies in here. Everything's unparametrized <laughs> in here. But let's, uh, let's see what we've got, right? So we've got that big body there. Uh, there's looks like there's four of something here if we go look at those okay those look like a, a little threaded insert th there that's that's uh, in there um, what are these up here we've got a couple press fit rods it looks like that go in there and then that guy ah that's back down on that back side okay and then some other bodies these guys in here all right, so it, it might be easiest to, to go look at these bodies and understand what they are uh, if we go into the body mode or switch into the timestamp. Uh, we're in our timestamp order right now. From here, we can switch into the toggle into our mode here where we're looking at individual bodies. This is a, a mode that's been around for a while. It's particularly useful as we're looking at mass properties here. And so we've added a button down here on our mass properties panel to toggle between that timestamp order and the, uh, the bodies mode. Here. So let's look at it in the bodies mode here. We've got uh, uh, eight of those at least here that are part of our model reference set right now. Right? And there's some more up here that are unused that are outside there. So what's up here? So those four inserts are actually not in our model reference set right now. So we can, uh, we can bring those in. Let's take a look at, so let's do that. We'll grab those four. We can drag those into our model reference set right here. And, uh, and that makes them be part of our, our mass properties. Now, they don't have properties right now, it looks like, so we need, to, we need to update that. If we open this just a little bit, we'll see some status. So let's do that. Let's update this part. That'll uh, get all those guys. And they don't have a lot of mass right now. <laughs> so let's go take a look at them. We've got those four bodies right there. Um, actually, with one of those, let's see what, it's, uh, what it says. So it's got a it's got a bronze material string, but it's there's not a material assigned actually here. So this is a it looks like an older part where they just assigned a name. So let's go actually give it some let's go give it some mass here. Let's grab those four. Yep, that works. And uh, and we'll come to assign materials here. And these are going to be bronze inserts. So we'll assign bronze to those four bodies right there, right. Uh, there again, we'll we'll delay the update on purpose. We'll poke the button, uh, and there we go. And so those have got some mass now. That's good. And there's another zero here. Are these these are these pins. Okay, let's look at those. Those are uh, looks like brass inserts. Those pins. Uh, similarly, with no material assigned right now. So we'll grab those two. Let's similarly go and assign uh, assign brass to that guy. Okay. All right. So those have got. Those have got mass now. That's good. Um, 
this guy over here, what's going on with it? Uh, it does have nylon assigned, so that looks like that's that one's good. And we had this body up here. Let's look at that one. That one is ABS. Okay, so that one's that one's got a material assigned as well. Um, what are these guys up here? These look like um, these look like you know what these look like are, are tool bodies that are either uh, either used to make those holes or used to maybe make adjacent holes uh, in an adjacent uh, mating part there. But at any rate, these are not supposed to be part of our final part here, right? So our, our mass right now, yeah, 3152 is, is a little high. That's not where it's supposed to be. So let's move these out of our model reference set. It'll take them out of the mass properties calculation. And as we do that, we see our, our total comes down there. There's our 2712 is where, where we, uh, we, we should be, okay? So with that, we've, we've uh, added some properties. We've updated, made sure things are up to date. We've moved some things out that shouldn't be there. We've, we've moved some things in that should be there, right? And, uh, and that's all good. Um, one last thing we can do here if we really want to, uh, or if we know more, right? Say, if we, for instance, if these brass, uh, brass inserts here, right now the geometry of those is giving us this 036 kilograms uh, mass. If we know that this really should be, say, 0.004 kilograms, right? Uh, our suppliers told us that that's an accurate, accurate number, for instance. We can come down and start to assert, for instance, um, an actual uh, mass down here for, for these, uh, these inserts, for instance, right? And say that we want to, instead of using our calculated number, use our asserted number as we roll those up. So you see our mass starting to come up. This is, uh, in the, again, at the body level now, we're starting to assert that. So we may come to this one as well. Uh, I don't need to double click that. Let's just come here and uh, assert a mass for this guy. And, uh, and again, choose this. So we're going to use this in the roll up. So that, uh, that has increased our total part mass here, you see, to 2720. Uh, similarly, if we come back over to on the assembly side here, right, and look at that, that'll, that'll uh, give us our Oops, I missed. Oh, I have the pin selected there. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got our, our, uh, our roll up here as well. Right, so this guy again is picking up now the, uh, the individual assertions and measurements that are coming from the, the bodies in there, ignoring the bodies that are not in the model reference set to give us a good number now that we know we can, we can use in our assembly to roll up. Okay, so again, diving one level deeper here, this is our component properties.